While this mechanized infantry squad enters its armored personnel carrier, tank crews mount their M60A1 tanks. The main gun is unlocked. Tube and turret action are checked. The tank commander secures the radio antenna while the powerful diesel engine warms up. The steel giant stirs into motion. The convoy is rolling. The alert usually develops into a field training exercise in which combat elements take up defensive positions or engage in tactical maneuvers. Frequently, the maneuvers are large scale testing the operational readiness of major cavalry units such as squadrons. These operational readiness tests, ORTs, are carried out under simulated battlefield conditions. Attack and counterattack are executed with the aggressiveness and verve that are typically cavalry in style. The maneuvers are often joined by West German paramilitary troops whose job is border defense. They are called Bundesgrenschutz, BGS for short. Here, they are acting as enemy soldiers, a role they frequently reverse with their American allies. Although live ammunition is not used, the mock skirmish is fought in deadly earnest. More than skill in skirmishing is at stake. men of the German Federal Republic are prepared to defend their country and the nations allied to them in NATO. The performance of American troops is evaluated by umpires who roam the maneuver area. These men are officers or high-ranking non-coms of great experience. They grade the skill and teamwork of fighting units. Particular attention is paid to the leadership qualities shown by those in command. Their reports go back for study to the regimental command post in Nuremberg. This is where the headquarters of the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment is located. It is in a former SS Caserne, in which Der Fuhrer himself lived when he came to this ancient city to address Nazi party rallies. 